welcome guys beautiful people welcome 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 thank you guys so much for watching i wanted to motivate somebody out there who knows that there is a god indeed there is a god up above and yes i have so many testimony how much this man loves me so much how much he adores me and i love him like yes I've known this man forever, all my life. He brought me here for purpose. He ever hear when somebody says, oh, you're a purpose? And <clears throat> what makes you a purpose? You know, I know what makes me a purpose. I've traveled from so far. I'm coming from so far. I can remember at one point being here. I questioned God. I was like, God, this is not my aim to be away from my family too long. But listen, I heard voices talking to me. The Holy Ghost said, listen, you are here for a purpose. I led you here for a reason. Things that you want to do, you wouldn't do it. It couldn't have done without you segregating yourself from certain situations. And let me tell you this, there is no regret in knowing Christ. Welcome again, guys. Welcome again to Love Christ TV. And I hope you guys enjoy while I try to put videos out bragging about our almighty God. Because he's amazing. He is our father indeed. And yes, he loves us. And do we love him back? We need to know ourselves better we need to know who are we praising out there we need to know what the purpose of our lives now it is a new year we want to get this together get things together get our act straight and tell ourselves say what is in this world for me what am i looking for really what is the aim of life what is the next move does it worth it continue what we were doing then. Does it worth it to continue our lifestyle of not being godly? Question yourself. Find yourself. Ask yourself, where are you now? Where you stand? Oh, much love. People around you love you more than Christ. There's no love more than Christ's love. It doesn't matter who it is. There's only one love, and it's Christ Jesus. And let me tell you this. I know of experience. People of God, listen. I don't need to come here and tell you that I will change your life or um, do what I'm doing. But I'm going to tell you this. Experience things up on your own. Get your own experience. And in order to get your own experience, question yourself. What am I looking for in this world? Is this what this world have to offer me without Christ? Nothing. Let me tell you, he loves us. God loves us to a level where he's not going to allow us to keep beating down ourselves. Psalms 46 verse 10 says, Be still. Be still. And I know that I am God. I will be exhaled among the nation. I will be exhaled in the earth. Be still. You get me? I want to be so still in Christ. I love this nation that I'm into right now. I love my choice. You understand? And the choice that I've made make me so happy. Sometimes I sit back. And I look back from where I'm coming from and where I'm at now. Christ Jesus made that possible. Let me tell you, you have never been through nothing. But when you go through things and you sit back and you question it and you ask God. And you said, God, what is going on? You have brought me for so far. You have taken me too deep. 
I heard a lot of testimony I want to share. And I want people to understand that um, when I experience this testimony, when this testimony come around, I try to hold it back. Reason being, sometimes it's too much for the year then, put it that way. It's easier for me to like sit in front of you and explain my testimony than being here. But when I've been led, I have to do what I have to do. And let me tell you, I've been struggling with spiritual marriage. If some people might understand what's going on, you understand? And um, it's like every time I feel like I don't need a relationship because I have this feeling that telling me that this is the right way of living. And there are times when my body felt like somebody is nourishing it in sex world. And I always question myself, why do I have to feel this way? Why am I turning away from relationship? I can't deal with this. This is not a good feeling overall. And I talked with God. I remember hearing a voice say, you can't do it here. I wanted to serve God a long time, fully. But where I was, it couldn't happen. And he pulled it. I remember asking him, let me know what's going on. I want to leave this place. This place is not bringing me forward to you. Each time I want to come close to you, it's keep pushing me back. It's always been something or someone pushing back things that it can't happen. And I was like, God, you need to take charge. Take charge of my life. Because you know where I'm coming from. And you know exactly where I'm heading. So at one point I was like. He said ask and you shall receive. So I was rudely interrupted. So basically I'm saying that God show me way. Where I can leave from where I am. So I can be more at peace. So I can be more focused, more focused on him. So yes, I'm so grateful for that moment. And I'm so grateful for that focus that I am on to right now. And that I am willing to continue. And let me tell you, as I was telling you about this um spiritual marriage. And I always feel like I am okay. I have company. I don't need a relationship. Whenever time I'm in a relationship, if you even say something that I don't like, or if you do something, I don't try to quarrel it. I don't try to fix it. I just walk away. And I always tell myself, well, why do I have to walk away? Why do I talk over things? Why? Why? You know? And I pray about it, and I talk about it. And I realize that I'm willing to change things. But the only way things can change is for me to leave from where I am. And when I pray and ask God, that answer was less than time. I was like, wow, this is so quick. You understand? And when I started, when I came here and I started to have those kind of dreams, same way, and feel like, yes. Sometimes I got up, I'm so wet. I'm so, but I'm not happy about it. I'm always being frustrated when it happens. And I don't really sleep in a nighty. I sleep in pajamas, both shorts or pants. And let me tell you, when I'm, when I'm back home in Jamaica, I sleep in the shorts one. But since I've been here, I sleep in both. Like in the summertime, I use the shorts one. In the wintertime, I use the pants. But at no given time, I normally wear underwear. I normally just, because those are pants, I felt comfortable in it. And I remember one time, I was struggling in my sleep, fighting. And the first I've been fighting off the spirit that wanted to have intercourse with me. And I said, you know what? I've been praying about it and I talked with God. And remember, I hear a voice said, listen, Elaine. Wear underwear. It doesn't matter what you're sleeping. Wear underwear. And when you wear that underwear, 
I'll protect you more. And let me tell you, people of God, I witness Christ, that man up above, fight for me in my sleep. Literally fight for me. And I was there and I felt the person coming on that the person wanted and the person is showing me face now. Like persons being used to being around me. And I was like, no, this is not feeling right. And I witnessed God pushed away that person and he blocked him, blocked, literally blocked him. And he was protecting me. And he whispered, remember I told you. When you started to when you start to wear underwear, then I'll protect you better. And let me tell you, I sleep. I was sleeping there, and I sat there and felt the presence of the Almighty fighting for me. Literally fighting for me, and I overcome. When I overcome and I jump up, I was like, God, you are here. Thank you so much, mighty Jesus. People of God, he loves us. It's just for us to accept him. It's just for us to believe in him. When I witnessed he fight for me, and I got up, and I started to look in the ceiling, and I said, God, you love me. And yes, I never had that encounter when, when I started to wear underwear under my pajamas. It take me a mighty long time. It take me moments and time to come and talk about this. And I said, I'm going to pray about it and let's see how it goes. And yes, he gave me that courage to come and express my feelings, come and express how I felt about the situation. God, I'm back to it again. So, remember, guys, God loves us. <coughs> God loves us all. So, I um, I cannot give up. There's no giving up in my book, any at all. God loves us too much. You hear what Psalms 46 verse 10 said, be still. Be still, he loves us. He loves all of us. So all when we feel like it's the end of the world and there is there's no there's no look back or there's nothing. You understand? Listen, there always been something. I'm gonna turn off this. So you understand? He tell us, be still. I know that I am God. Glory to you, mighty Jesus. Be still. When it's your time, it is your time. But are you going to know it's your time if you don't put yourself out there? Give in to him. Let him in your lives. Then you can say, yes, it's my time. It's my time to be glorified to you, mighty God. It's my time to lift my hands, lift my heart off. You understand? Saying that. You are able. You are so able. I'm telling you. What word can't explain how much God is amazing. He is so amazing. Glory be to him. I have come so far. I have traveled through curves and corners and corners. But let me tell you, he was there for me. All this time, I'm questioning myself even since I've been here in America. Like, how do I do it? How do I reach this far? I tell myself I can't do it. Don't feel like there's that moment when I said, I can't do this. But you can always have the mercy of God with you, as long as you accept him. Old you, telling you that, listen, you can. I am here for you. 
at times when I want to feel a warm hug and I would sit down and I prayed and I felt her arms around me warming me up. Say, you are okay. Be still. I am God. Glory to you, mighty Jesus. So, people of God, wake up. Question yourselves. Ask yourself, what's going on? How is this 2024? How far am I going into this? I need to know from now, now in January. You don't wait till November, December. For say, okay, I'm bringing in a new year. I wanted this to happen. Do it now. It's not everybody wake up. 2023, gone. Person's gone with it. When you find yourself now in 2024, live and direct, and you're not stringing up, you're not hospitalized, let me tell you, God is amazing. You are here for a purpose. We are all here for a purpose. Oh, would you know? Give your life to him. Ask him. Talk with him. Find out what is your purpose. Pray about it. Build a relationship with your God. And let me tell you this. When you build that relationship, it, it's so meaningful. You don't need people. Give him the glory in everything you do. In every drop you put in your mouth, give him the glory. Because without him, we are nothing. Period. We're nothing. Without Christ, we are nothing. He has done so much for me and he's about to do many more. I remember being in my room worshiping. And I always talk about my worship because my worship comes different. And I said, God, I want to feel that Holy Ghost. I want to feel that presence. And let me tell you, it never took me too long to felt that warmness, that love. I ask for protection. I get protection. I ask for forgiveness. I get forgiveness. Don't feel like nothing is too hard. Nothing is too much for him. You can't be worse than nothing. You can't be worse than no one else. And when you feel like the doctor give up or mankind can't, God will. And yes, I have to leave this for another testimony. And it will be same place on this channel. So I'm going to finish this and then I started back a new one so I can have it more like instead of enjoying all this too much. But God is so amazing. Give your life to him. Give it all to him. And you will see a difference in your life. I love you, Lord, for this precious precious moment that you you felt in when I needed you. You'll be there when I ask of you. 2024 makes such a big difference in my life. When I opened my eyes and saw 2024 on my calendar saying that this is a new year, I was like, who could it be? I don't know where it would have been. Because there's so much going on. There are so many wickedness. There are so many bad mode people. And if you don't pray people of God, these bad mode will bring you down. Ask God for your protection. Serve him. It's worth it. If I knew all these times that God love was so blessing was so amazing what would I have been doing out in that world in that wicked world so long at my age and stage now but as I said before 
nothing done before time. Glory be to God. Thank you, people of God. And this month for more. And remember, I love you all. You're welcome again to Love Christ TV. But always remember this. God loves us more. God loves you all more. Blessings and thank you so much for watching. Invite a friend. Tell a friend about Love Christ TV. Bye.